I've had a request for a how-to video about showing indicators based on values in a field. Here I have a form with a single field. When I enter a number in the field, an indicator appears. I can enter different values and get different coloured indicators. In this example, the indicators are based on manually entered data, simply because that's the easiest to demo. Everything I show you here can be applied just as easily to values taken from an external data source or calculated values. This is the template for this form. Here you'll see the field for the entered value. Below it are the three indicators. These are just images I created in Paint and then imported using the picture control in InfoPath. I have associated conditional formatting to each of these pictures. Conditional formatting does what the name implies. It changes how an item appears based on values in the form. If I right click on this green indicator and go to conditional formatting, it opens this window listing all the conditions. It says that there is formatting which applies when the field indicator value is less than 10 or when it is blank. If I click on modify we'll see the details. All I've done is click this checkbox labelled hide this control. This means that the picture won't show up unless there is a value entered in the field and that value is greater than 10. The same rule has been applied to the other two pictures with just the values of the condition changed. The process is fairly straightforward. The only thing to take care of is what happens with the values at the edge of the range. If you're not careful with how you apply greater or less than in combination with the greater than or equal or less than or equal rules, you could end up with two indicators showing up or neither on those values. I could also have applied conditions to the field itself. If I right click on the field and go to conditional formatting, I can set conditions directly on this text box. I'll create a rule that will apply when the value in indicator field is less than 5. I can set the shading on the field to change to red. I will then need to set separate conditions for the other two ranges, but I'll preview my form again. I have a value less than 5 and the field turns red. I have a value greater than 5 and the formatting returns to normal. It would be a simple matter to apply the same process to get this field changing to orange and green with the appropriate values. So you can see that conditional formatting can apply directly to the field in question or to other parts of the form. It would also be possible to apply rules based on the values in multiple fields.